<laughs> Welcome to Coffee Talk. I guess that's what we're going to call it. I'm Dusty Reimer and I'm the founder of the Initiate Conference. And to my left is Miss Lynn Myron. And to my right is Sean Montgomery and Vanessa Gross. And today's topic that we're going to talk about very quickly, but very in kind of in depth, not really, yeah. is, uh, is campaigns and how they relate mm -hmm. to um, your everyday life and work and how how they work, why they're important. So um, Miss Lynn is going to be teaching a session on it yeah. and she'll have a follow-up question session with it. But uh, Miss Lynn, can you just give us kind of an overall definition yeah. of what a campaign is or how what it looks like? So think of a campaign as a snapshot in your marketing. It's not your entire brand. It's not your entire awareness. It is a really hard-hitting, time-limited campaign. So you're going to go after, we need to update, if you're, say I work for a nonprofit, we need to get some awareness out there, we have a donor deadline, we've got to get a marketing campaign, we've got to get a press release out, we have to get some collateral, some creative, and some copy put together, we've got to get media involved. So you, you put your marketing plan together for that campaign, and that campaign can be part of your overall marketing plan. Mm -hmm. So the campaign is a much shorter time frame and you're gonna put some very specific headlines and taglines and copy with that. And so it's it's hard hitting is what a campaign is. It's very like in your face, like yes. for this time moment now, what yep. you got going on. But mm -hmm. I think the thing too is campaigns are very specific. Like they're very, um, like you had said, they're very goal oriented. Oh, like it's not yeah. just like we'll throw caution to the wind and no. see what sticks to the wall. Like mm -hmm. this is very, this is very planned and very strategic in how we go about doing this. Yeah. So you really have to be, as you said, strategic. You use the smart planning. So you want to know what the time frame is. Is it attainable? Is it measurable? What data are you going to collect with it? You have to set the goals beforehand to know if you're successful, and you have to hit some some target media and what's paid, what's earned, what if you have no budget at all, how are you going to get maybe some donor funds and then the rest of it's all going to be social media and public relations. Um, so you have to define everything so you have the pathway to go. Right. And it's for every type of business, nonprofit, oh, you know, works yeah. for right. across the board. Every mm -hmm. single person that is a professional will work on a campaign. And, and, and you have all this, you have an entire toolbox and a lot of things that based off of what other people have done, what what you know, what has worked. You know, we'll we'll sit and we'll collaborate on things based off of whatever the campaign is. But what have you used to benchmark or hit benchmarks in your um, in your campaign and be able to pull analytics from that? That's my favorite part right. is checking outcomes. You know, looking at outcomes um, and the different tools that are out there nowadays to be able to to measure those you know those look at those outcomes. So. Um, What's really important when you're talking about measurement and outcomes is that you know where you're at when you start. So you right. look at all of your social media, with your followers, your likes, your friends, everything, and you write it down. Right. You look at your website analytics. You look at SEO, SEM, everything before you start so that when you get to the end of the campaign, you have something to compare it to. Right. And that's when you go back to your board or your founder or your president or your boss, it doesn't matter, right. and say, this is how far we've come. But you can't do that unless you write it down. Yeah. Even in my notebook, when I started a new job here recently, I wrote down all social media, website, and I knew where I started from. Right. And then you just can go back to my board and right. you can do different things like that. But that's what it can be. Right. right. It's important to show that growth and you have to know where you start to be able to know where you're going to right. also. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just, Absolutely. that's another way of being able to measure things. And I think that's um, a big component to it. But um, I kind of like what you had said too about when you're looking at all the analytics and the data and everything like that. And then that sitting down with everybody and being creative. I think the cool things that come from campaigns is that um, I'm a big person that likes to sit around and just talk with other people and get mm -hmm. like, I feed off the creativity of others so being able to bring in like your sales team and your communications team and your marketing team and kind of sit down together and be like look this is the data that we got from this and then start to kind of strategize and create what you're going to go for the next one is always a fun time too because you guys see where it's gone and now you see where it's going to go so um this has been a fun discussion yeah. and yeah. i hope everybody's enjoyed it but we've got lots more coming up with the conference and so we'd love to have you participate and join us and sit in on miss in session because she's got a lot of good information yes. and she's the woman to ask the questions if you have them so thanks for joining us